Hey guys, it's D3Maniac, and today I'm going to talk to you about parallel universes. No, seriously. If you know anything about speedrunning, you might think I'm memeing. But I'm dead serious. Parallel universes in Descent 3. Even better, we're going to use them to skip level 5, which is normally a 12 minute long, unskippable level. To briefly explain, since all of the levels in Descent 3 use the same coordinate system, you can kind of think of all of the levels as parallel universes because using a glitch that I'm about to explain in this video, you can stay at the same position in the coordinate system, but jump between levels. So this glitch revolves around demos, and what demos are is they're a way to record gameplay, but instead of recording the graphics on the screen, that would have taken up way too much memory back in the 90s, they record what's happening in the game engine while you're playing. So it records the player's position, and it records like what weapons you're firing, what the robots are doing. It just records everything that's happening in the game and then plays back that data. But the interesting thing about demos is that um, since they're running the game engine while you're watching them, you can do some interesting things while watching a demo. So I'm going to load up level one and I'm going to create a save that we're going to need for later. I'll call it level one. Now let's record a demo just leaving the file name blank because that's easier. So now the game is remembering all these lasers that I'm firing, remembering what the robots are doing. And save that demo, and let's go back and watch it. All right, now the game engine is back up and running, so we can change our rear view mirrors, we can access the auto map, do things that you wouldn't normally expect to be able to do while just watching a recording of gameplay. But most importantly, you can save and load games. And this turns out to have some crazy potential. Let me show you what I mean. So we've already made our saved game in level 1. Let's load up level 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a demo of us loading the save from level 1. So let's create a demo, blank file name because it's easy. And while recording this demo, We'll load up level one, and this behaves normally, since this is normal gameplay right now. Finish recording the demo, and now we're going to watch that happen in the demo. And what's going to happen is it's going to try and load um, the saved game, but glitch out. And let me show you what I mean by glitch out. This is where level two starts. This is where we just were, and this is where we are now way out of bounds. And the reason that happened is because when the game tried to load the save from level 1 during the demo, it loaded the coordinates that we were at in the save of level 1, but it didn't change levels. So it effectively teleported us. So let's see if we can fly back in bounds. Um, oh, I forgot. We're still in a demo. We can't control our ship. So the way to get out of the demo is to save a game during the demo and then load that game. So we're out of bounds again. Saving the game, we'll call it OB for out of bounds. And now we'll load that game that we saved in the demo. And now we have full control of our ship. So let's try to fly into this canyon area. Um, so yeah, we should be back in bounds now, but the game is still glitched out and you can't really see anything. Um, turns out it's really difficult to get back in bounds in Ascent 3. So there's this little area over here um, that we can get back in bounds in. And I think you can always get back in bounds into the area that you teleported from. So that's the reason that we could still see the beginning of the level. Um, so anyway, now we are back. You know, that's really strange. I don't really know what's going on. Here. That's kind of cool. So anyway, <laughs> now we are back in level two, um, but in a different position from where we started. We just got whacked by a robot. So. Just to recap, we watched a demo of us loading a game in a different level. And what that did was it changed our position to the game that we loaded 
but didn't actually change levels. So that's basically like teleporting, changing your position but keeping the same level. A parallel universe is kind of the converse of this trick. If we're watching a demo of normal play, but we manually load a game in a different level, our position will stay the same, but we will change levels. So we could be in level seven in a specific position, like just for, just for an example, let's say our position is 10 by 10 by 10 on the descent three coordinate plane. And then if we do the parallel universe glitch and we're watching a demo of us being at 10 by 10 by 10 in level seven and we load level eight, we will be at position 10 by 10 by 10 in level eight. And we can flip through any level at the same position in this way. Um, it turns out that the starting position in level two is very close to the end of level five out of bounds. So let's create a save at the start of level two. Now I'm turned around. We need to create a save at the start of level five so we can load level five during a demo at the beginning of level two. All right. So let's make a save, level five. And now we'll go to level two. As you can see, I still fully don't have my head wrapped around all the weird things this glitch can do. So I'll load up level two and create a demo. That's enough. And now we're gonna watch this demo and load level five during the demo at the start of level two. And we got a crash. That is not unexpected. This glitch crashes often. But we're just going to try again. All right, one step further. Now we're in the demo in level two, and we're going to load level five. And there we are, out of bounds in level five. Out of bounds in level five. And now I've saved the game here, and now we'll load up the game that we saved in the demo outside of level five. And now we're in control of our ship outside of level five. And for those of you who've played through Descent 3, you know this is the area that your ship like flies out of at the ending cutscene of level five. But you're never really supposed to be here in normal play and the end of level trigger is just right on that door. So even though the 12 minute timer hasn't run out and this door is still locked, we can trigger the end of the level by just flying next to the door. And you can finish the level in less than a minute in this way. And um, there's another glitch that allows you to skip the cutscene at the end of this level for a time of like 20 seconds or something absurd for what's normally a 12 minute level. So I'll show you that glitch right now. For those of you who followed my channel a little bit, you know that one of my favorite glitches is when you start a cutscene while dead, it skips to the last shot of that cutscene. But for some reason in level five, if you add another layer to it and start a cutscene while dead in a demo, the game sometimes crashes. But then when you load the game up again, and watch the demo, it skips the last cutscene entirely and just warps you to the end of level screen. We got a time of 26 seconds, and now we're on level six. So we've skipped level five basically entirely, and it takes about like 30 seconds in game time and maybe a minute in real time. And this glitch makes Descent 3. A much more viable speed game now that you don't have to wait for 12 minutes for level 5 to end. So now the speed run of Descent 3 can definitely be under an hour and I'm gonna start doing full game runs with that goal in mind. Alright, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.